One of the most interesting print-on-demand sites is Displate. You can open a store, upload designs onto their website, and earn royalties with every sale. I've personally made over 90,000 US dollars in royalties on Displate. So in this video, I'm going to walk through how you can set up a store, how selling works, and I'll give you some tips and tricks on how to start earning money today. Let's jump in. Now, if you've never heard of Displate before, you might be wondering what these are. And as you can see in this promo video here on Displate's home website, these are metal posters of various sizes and you affix them to the wall using a combination of glued supports and magnets. And there's a ton of different varieties you can get and you can open up a shop on Displate and sell your own designs, which Displate will then put on their metal plates and ship right to the customer and you'll get paid a royalty. The easiest way to get started on Displate as a customer is to simply go here to the main website and go to explore and then you've got a whole bunch of different options here you can shop by categories for example you can shop by different licensed stores and you can even shop by top artists i'm going to go here to shop by categories and i'll click see all posters and from here we're going to see a whole bunch of different posters that pop up and what i'd recommend you do is pick one that you like and what you can see here is a little breadcrumb trail where you can see the name of the shop and then the different sub categories inside of it. So here, for example, if I click on this Middle Earth, this is the name of the shop and this is an official brand shop. So Displate sells a lot of official brands like Marvel, DC, in this case, Lord of the Rings. A lot of movie and television intellectual property is sold through Displate. So the first thing I would caution you is if you're selling on Displate, absolutely do not sell anything that's trademarked. This would include sports teams, TV, movies, superheroes that are trademarked. You want to keep it to either public domain or to your original creations so that you don't get a strike and possibly get banned from Displate. To open up a shop on Displate is pretty straightforward. Just go to the main page, scroll right on down to the bottom as far as you can go, and then you'll see a gray footer down at the bottom, and you're gonna go under Earn with Displate, Sell Your Art. When you click on that, you're gonna see here you can register as an artist. When you click on that link, you can create a new account artist. See, there's a little slider here. You're a customer or you're an artist. You wanna make sure you click on I'm an artist, then you're gonna fill this stuff in and then you can create an account to start selling. Now to actually upload a design and start selling, you're gonna go up here to the top right where your shop name is and then you're gonna see a little menu pop up and then from here, you're going to go to upload your artwork right here. From here, you're gonna have an opportunity to drag and drop your image right in here or you can click the browse button and you can upload a design right from your computer. So you'll wanna have something like Photoshop, Inkscape, Photopea, something where you can create an item to sell. Now this needs to be at least 2,900 by 4,060 pixels. So what this means is it's a 1.4 to one ratio. So that means for every 100 pixels, you want 140 pixels on the other side. You can sell them in landscape or portrait orientation. Now you don't have to use the minimum dimensions. So here, for example, I'm on Kittle, which is an online graphics design program, and I'm going with 4350 by 6090 at 300 DPI. So when I create my artboard, it's still 1.4 to one ratio. You can use Photoshop, Kittle, Inkscape, anything from a graphic design standpoint that will get you a high quality 300 DPI JPEG file. Okay, so here's my JPEG file that I've created. In this case, I've used Photoshop. It's a JPEG file 4350 by 6090, and I'll click open, and that will upload this now into Displate. Now, I do have a couple options here. I can rotate it if I want, I can flip it. I don't really use this stuff down here at the bottom, but I will go over here to next. And the system will start thinking and use AI actually to write up a product description. Okay, and we can see here that Displate is analyzing the artwork and it actually gives me a title. I did not type this and it actually gives me a description. I did not type this. So I typically will leave these as is, although sometimes very rarely I'll change it if I don't like the way it looks, but pretty much I just trust the AI to do this. Now down here at the bottom, I'm going to use digital art as my selection. I'm gonna click next. And now we're gonna use tags, and this is what helps people find your artwork. So you wanna make sure these tags are accurate. And we can see here the computer has actually added in some tags, about 10 of them. So I'm gonna click add tag, and I'm gonna type in something else. So for example, I'll type in funny coffee, and I'll hit enter. And that'll go to the next one. Funny workplace, and I'll hit enter. 
funny office and I'll hit enter and so on. Okay, so I've got all 15 of my tags in there and now I'll click next. Now I'm gonna choose a category and from here I can go through my different categories. I'm gonna pick funny for example and then I can pick a collection if I want as well. So this is based on the collections that you've got in your store already or you can create a new collection. So here I've clicked add new and I'm gonna type in my collection. I'm gonna pick coffee for example as my name of my collection. I'll click create collection. When you're happy with that, I'm gonna click that you accept the terms of use. Make absolutely sure that you're not selling trademarked items on display. They do monitor this rather vigorously. And from here, I can click next. And now Displate's bot is looking through and making sure that this is acceptable. And we can see here it is acceptable. A little check mark pops up. And now I can move on to my next artwork or I can go back to my profile. So uploading artwork is pretty quick. Now it does take a while to get approved so you would go up to the top to your shop name and then you would go to upload history. So you could get a number of different things on display. You could see awaiting validation just means that the system has to look at it. It could take anywhere from a couple days to a couple weeks to get updated and validated. If it doesn't like something technically or from a trademark issue, you'll see deactivated. If it's published, obviously it'll say published. That means you can see it in your store. And then there's also not approved, which means it didn't go through the system. So it is a bit clunky at times. You may have the exact same design not be approved and if you tweak it slightly and you upload it a second time, suddenly it will be published. It is run by bots. They have thousands of designs. Just be aware that if something doesn't get approved, you may want to take another shot at it and try to upload it a second time. One of the most common questions I get is what should I sell on Displate? Displate's very competitive because almost anyone can open up a store and you can upload over time hundreds or even thousands of designs. So here's what I would recommend you do. Type into the search bar at the top something that you feel you're capable of making. There's no sense in looking at niches that you can't make. So I'm gonna type in here to the top funny gaming, for example. And what I'd recommend you do is take a look at all the funny gaming posters and scroll right down to the bottom and see how many pages pop up under that search term. We'll see here that we've got 18 pages of funny gaming. Now, if I remove funny and I just search for gaming, for example, we'll see a whole lot more gaming posters pop up. And when I scroll on down to the bottom, we'll see there's 93 pages. So the more pages there are, the more competition there is. So what you're gonna to wanna to find is high quality search terms that have a low number of pages. If I type in New York, for example, we'll see a whole bunch of New York related designs. And again, I get 93 pages. So this is very competitive. If I type in a Canadian city, Etobicoke, for example, I only get one page and there's only three results. Now I'm not suggesting people are searching all day long for Etobicoke, but I'm just using this as an example that there are low competition niches. Now you have to find a balance between a low competition niche that nobody wants and a low competition niche that everybody wants. Ideally, if you can find that niche, you can really make some sales. I really hope you found this walkthrough helpful. Displate's been very good to me over the years. I've made tens of thousands of dollars in royalties on Displate. And I think it's important to know that the more you put in, the more effort, the more time, the more expertise that you put in, the better your results could be, especially over the long haul. Here's another video where you can have some fun selling in the world of print on demand.